Um, Will Smith came out with a new book. Right. Said that he was actually jealous of Tupac right. and, and Jada's relationship, uh, his past relationship with him. Um, it just seems like his relationship with Jada is so odd to me because I feel like all they do is just embarrass each other <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on right? a constant basis. Or is that just the only stuff that we pay attention to? Is that like somehow we've already decided that they have this like chaotic uh, relationship that's not working out and that also he's a little sus. And uh, it's like people just kind of, anytime there's like a little bit of evidence that comes out that of that being the case, it's like people are like, yes, this confirms what we already thought, which is that Will Smith is a little weird. Let me tell you, I had someone a while back tell me a story about Will and Jada. Mm. and how they get down. Oh, yeah, me too. That would absolutely blow your mind. Yeah. And I will not say it on camera because they will probably sue me. Yeah. And, and the person who told me is not going to get on the stand and defend me. So so, <laughs> so gonna... it's in the hands of crazy people like Trisha Paytas. So shout out to Trisha Paytas. But I one time saw that she made a YouTube video basically just saying that Will Smith is bisexual and that they do this, this, and that. And the other thing, I'm like, you're the only person I know who would actually come out and say that because everybody else is scared of getting a lawsuit in the mail. Well, yeah, because I wasn't there. I yeah. didn't see it. It's all hearsay. I, I can't even prove the person who told me actually saw or was right. told certain things. Um, so I'm not going to go ahead and say it. It was just, you know, just basically me as a person. But I'm just saying, like, you, you hear the rumors, and of course, every famous person. I mean, there's rumors about me being gay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, whatever. Like, go ahead right. and find, find the guy that I had sex with. Right. Go for it. Please. Please. Search high and low. But there's a go lot ahead. of, there's like a lot of rumors like that in hip hop where it's like, I've heard that, but there's no way for, I, like, I, will, I, I had heard a couple of times that 21 Savage was from London. Or like, like somebody told me that, and I just was like, all right. Well, wasn't he born in the UK? Yeah, but like nobody ever knew that until like he got arrested for right. that shit. But like that that was a weird thing when he got arrested for it. And I was like, I had heard that. Like I heard that a couple of times. And I just didn't really take it serious because unless I have like documents proving it, and also I'm not really in the business of exposing someone's, you know, place that they're from. Right. But yeah, I mean, I always will hear rumors. I've I've heard rumors about big ass rappers where girls straight up sitting there and telling me, this dude's gay. He hooked up with this guy that I know, and I'm just like, all right, like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna go to work the next day and like tell my homie that I work with, you know, because yeah. I just don't even care. It's like exactly. if you can't prove it, then what the fuck does it matter? And you know, it is very interesting to me. I'm not gonna lie and act like, oh, it's irrelevant. But I yeah. mean, unless I have like real, and also I don't want to be outing anybody. Even if I did have like perfect evidence of someone being, yeah, I'm not, I'm not the outing like type. Yeah. yeah, it's it's really one of those things. Like if you, you know, I, I know a few stories of a few prominent people with gay type stories, but it's like, yeah, who cares? Right. All right, if that's if that's what you want to do in your in your uh, private life, cool. All right, and if you like, want to you know, hide it, if you want to hide, it, that's cool too. Yeah, by all means, yeah. You know, I'm, like you know. I've said this before, I've I have gay employees, and I've had gay employees, you know, past employees also. Like you know, like er everyone. Everyone deserves to be treated with respect and be treated like a human being and deserves to have their privacy if that's yeah, if that's what they want to do. And, and at the end of the day, if that if that's your personal choice, I've always been pro-gay marriage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, my thing is, like, if this is what you want to do, cool. No problem. Yeah. You know? The, I'd rather you do that than live in the closet and have it come out in weird ways, like, become a serial killer or become a, a pedophile or, or whatever because yeah. you you haven't dealt with who you are as a human being because sometimes when you watch like uh, documentaries about killers in the 70s and shit that's where my mind goes it's like this guy could have been just like a normal gay guy <laughs> yeah but he fucking suppressed it so deep down and just acted out and did these horrible things because he was living a life where he i mean Think about it, like you're you're 13 and or you're 12 or whatever, however old you are when you really start getting attracted to women. Imagine if you could never act on it. Like the rules in your head were set so strict that you could never act on that. Yeah. I mean, and, and you couldn't admit it to anyone you knew. I mean, that's gotta be mental torture. Like I really Absolutely. feel for anybody who has to yeah. bury that shit deep down inside, man. So I mean, yeah, anybody who yeah, any any kids out there, I mean, just fucking be yourself, especially these days. I mean, I just feel like there's so much less societal ramifications there's so many less people that are going to give you a hard time about that maybe if you're like 
15, 16, you're in school and like people are closed minded. But by the time you become an adult, yeah. I feel like very few people are going to really give you a hard time for it, even if it seems like it. 